So take. Hello and welcome back to FPV Pro. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Jimmy Rig battery mod for our FlySky FS i6 and i6X. Uh, it's made from two cell phone batteries and this is going to be a two part video. Uh, this one's about the controller and I'll be uploading a video on how to make the batteries in the description. So, I got sick and tired of using so many AA batteries for this bloody thing, and uh, I didn't want to wait for a step-up module, so I decided that I was just going to wing it, and it worked. Um, I've been flying like this for four or five months now with no issues, but I'm going to warn you now, this it, it, you know, things can go wrong, so you're doing this at your own risk. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Taking a look at what we need, you're going to need a, your FlySky remote, soldering iron, solder, Phillips screwdriver. I'm using a JST connector, just what I have kicking around. Same thing that I built the battery with. And uh, like I said before, I'll actually be uploading a video on how to make one of these out of just spare cell phone batteries. I'm going to be using electrical tape because I don't have any shrink wrap the right size. Shrink tubing. So go ahead and take your Phillips screwdriver and remove the four screws in the back of your transmitter. And pull off the back. Like I said, I've already I've already done this mod. I've actually just taken my controller apart and did it all just for this video. So pull that apart. You'll notice you got your training port and your battery cable. Get those off. Now I just got the two connector there. You can see here. taken the uh, positive and the negative and I've just cut them there and there. You've got your little connector here. All you gotta do, take your JST, run it in there, add a little extra solder to that. Positive to positive. And negative to negative. Clean your soldering iron. Now, take some forehand. You'd want to use your, your shrink tubing, but like I said, that's not going to work for me, unfortunately, but I'm going to be doing another video with the proper step-up modules, and I'll actually be giving those away, some of those away, so don't forget to subscribe. <clears throat> okay, so, move that out of the way. All you got to do is take your JST end, put it through the negative side, like so, and hook these back up. Take your controller, remember, start off at the handle, come down at a bit of an angle. There are actually a couple other modifications that I'm going to be doing with this controller. So, but there you go. And that's it. 
Don't forget to put your screws back in. Maybe test it out first. Make sure you didn't. Well, go over your wiring before you test it out. Make sure you got it right. There you go. It does work at 8.4 volts. And yeah, I mean, heck, the the battery life is significantly longer. So if you like it, if you find the video helpful, subscribe. Thanks for watching.